In December, we have the immensely gifted uh, young British conductor Daniel Harding coming back to the orchestra. He will have made his debut in March of 2011 in Mahler Symphony Number no. 4, and he's coming back to the orchestra for two weeks, the first of which sees him conducting Mahler's 10th symphony. And it's, it's a fascinating piece. It's a piece with which Daniel is very much identified. He's performed it with, with many orchestras, and I know that he feels very deeply, very strongly about this particular piece. It's a little bit of an oddity in Mahler's output because Mahler actually didn't live to finish the symphony. Um, he composed the bulk of the first movement and did substantial work on the third movement. And actually, various people have prepared completed editions of the symphony. And the one that I think most people agree is the most successful is that by the, the British musicologist Derek Cook. And this is the version that Daniel will conduct. It's, it's a great piece for the New York Philharmonic to play and for our audiences to hear because it's kind of Mahler's New York symphony. I mean, the last orchestra that Mahler conducted before he died in 1911 was the Philharmonic. Uh, he was here as music director from 1909 to 1911, and this is Mahler's last symphony. Uh, one of the movements enshrines a fireman's funeral parade that Mahler heard from his, from his hotel room, from his apartment on Fifth Avenue here in New York. So it's, it's got these kinds of sounds of the city. It's really just, it's got this connection to, to New York. And when we think of Mahler, we, we think of Vienna, really. We think of him as you know the Vienna Opera and this, this Viennese symphonist, and he lived in Austria and that sort of thing. And this is a piece that really underscores this, this last chapter in his life when he was here in New York City. So I'm really excited to hear it because oftentimes com conductors will just do the adagio, just the first movement of the symphony, and that doesn't have the fireman bit in it. So we've, we've got the whole piece in this wonderful completion. And as I said, it's a piece that Daniel really has passionate uh, investment and really feel strongly about. So if there's somebody to hear do this piece, I don't think you could do much better than, than Daniel Harding.